Good afternoon. James Kahn of Dragon's Den fame is my guest now. We actually caught up yesterday and I started with, hello, how are you? Extremely well. Just got back from skiing this morning. Oh, how delicious. Where did you go skiing? Uh, I was in Courchevel just for five days with the children um, because it really has become my favourite sport now. I absolutely adore it. How gorgeous. Now, of course, your new book might mean that those people who have a good entrepreneurial idea may adapt the skills to develop that business to become the next James Kahn and go off skiing and enjoying a wonderful life. (laughs) Wouldn't that be amazing? (laughs) Wouldn't it just? The book is called Start Your Business in Seven Days, and we're going to talk about that in a moment because uh, maybe I need to pitch a good idea to you, not that you haven't heard that one before. But um, you left school at 16 and apparently started your first business in a Pall Mall broom cupboard. Is that right? I did indeed, literally. I mean, I I came up with an idea, um, and and at the time, my my view was that the business was going to be a headhunting business, and it had to be in an ex, you know extremely good location. And at the time, as a child, I remember you know driving up and down Pall Mall, thinking, God, you know, this is probably the most exclusive address in London. And unfortunately, when when you're starting out a business with nothing. You don't have a huge amount of money to invest. So, you know, literally the only thing I could afford was a broom cupboard. But you know what? It had the address, which was what was the most important thing for me at the time. Tiny acorns to great massive oak trees then, I guess. Indeed. Indeed. So He I, says with a smile. <laughs> well, I'd be smiling if I were you as well. <laughs> um, are you born an entrepreneur? Is it innate or can you become one? Can you learn to become successful in that way? I mean, I genuinely believe you can become successful because, you know, when you look at somebody like me or even Richard Branson, and and, and recently I had the incredible pleasure of meeting Bill Gates, you know, when, when you meet Bill Gates, it's quite extraordinary. You know, he's quite an introvert. You know, he's not an overly kind of salesy type of person, very kind of normal and ordinary guy. So, you know, I I absolutely believe with passion that you can develop the skills of building or running a business. I think the key issue, I think, which I think is, is, is a lot of what the book is all about, is giving you that kind of guide, giving you the understanding of how to evaluate to say, is this idea that I've got... Is it just a passion? Is it a hobby? Or actually, is it a business? And I think a lot of people haven't got the experience and the know-how on how to evaluate that. And and I think what I do in the book is take them through kind of a step-by-step guide to show them how they can evaluate. Because I think when you've got the idea that is a business that could be successful, it's amazing how resourceful we are as people because once something is working, you know, we find people that want to work with us, we find customers who want to buy from us, and actually we can drive the business. That doesn't mean we were born as entrepreneurs. It means we found something that everybody wanted. A lot of it is about a good idea because, of course, you hit our screens in Dragon's Den in 2007. What was it like being part of that show? And tell us about uh, maybe some of the pitches that were awful and some of those that kind of subscribe almost to the stuff you're saying in your book. I mean, what was really extraordinary is before doing Dragon's Den, you know, I hadn't quite appreciated just how much in Britain we really are a nation of shopkeepers because, as you can imagine, every day... You've got people from all walks of life coming in with some extraordinary ideas. And in my time in the den, I must have seen over a thousand entrepreneurs walking through the door. And you just hadn't realised just how many people out there genuinely believe that they've got an idea that really could be successful. What I did learn, having met over a thousand people, is actually what they all lacked was the understanding and the knowledge of saying... Is this just a crazy idea or is it really a business? So, you know, whether it was the guy, you know, who came up with the shovel that said, you know, you don't need to bend down, which I thought was a great idea, but it's not a business. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a great hobby, you know, to the guy that that, that had a kind of a, a line that sort of dries clothes, um, but it was automated. You know, again, it was a great idea. But unfortunately, the normal one cost £10 and his one cost £80. So great idea, but nobody's going to buy it. I suppose the one that that really amused me the most was the guy that came in with with an electric shaving brush. You know, and you're sitting there thinking, (laughs) what is the problem you're trying to solve here? Because, you know, shaving, you know, I do it every morning. So I I have to use a couple of strokes up and down. 
but why why is that a problem for yeah. me why do i need an electric you know brush that that literally you know sprays all over the place you know and again who's going to buy it so you know that that they're great ideas but the problem is they're not businesses and I think that's what really, in a way, inspired me to write the book. Because for all those people, I mean, even if you look at the guy who came in with, with the the drying sort of line, you know, in the garden for clothing, the guy spent 10 years of his life developing that. Wow. But it's never going to be a business. Oh, 10 years. Goodness. Now, if he'd read the book, he would have realised in seven days, great idea, but not a business. So I think that, that to me... I do think that there are incredibly talented people out there with some fantastic ideas. What I want to do is see those ideas succeed into commercial reality. But what I don't want people to do is to waste a huge amount of their time and a lot of their hard-earned cash on something that just probably isn't going to make it.